I can't believe it's November already. Homecoming, football, and volleyball are done. Construction continues, and so does media. So it's time for another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. For the Nightly News, I'm Brody. For the Nightly News, I'm Ellen. For the Nightly News, I'm Haley. For the Nightly News, I'm Kenzie. For the Nightly News, I'm Tammy. For your Nightly News, I'm Elizabeth. For the Nightly News, I'm Tashani. Welcome to a new edition of the Nightly News. The stories on homecoming and dance. I'm Cammie. And I'm Brody. Let's start with a look back at homecoming. Are you excited to be on homecoming court this year? Yes, I'm very excited because it's my freshman year in high school and I'm just really looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be very fun and interesting. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for homecoming this weekend? Honestly, I'm probably an 11. And I think it's about 5. Who do you two suspect to win homecoming king and queen this year? I think it's going to be Ella Goodrich and Ethan Stoger. I think it's going to be Kaya Buchanan and Stogie, my dad. <laughs> Are you excited for homecoming this weekend? I am pumped because we didn't have one my freshman year. Yeah, I'm excited to be on court and I'm just overall looking forward to it. Who do you suspect to win homecoming king and queen this year? Ethan Stoger and Ella Goodrich. I think it's going to be Ella McKay and Kaden Gensler. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you to go to homecoming with me? 1. <laughs> how excited are you guys to be on homecoming court this year? Um, it was pretty unexpected, so I guess I'm pretty excited. I'm super excited to be on homecoming court with my best bud, Ribeye. Who do you two suspect to win homecoming king and queen this year? Um, I think Ella Goodrich and Ethan. Yeah, I agree. I think Ethan and Ella got this one. How are you guys feeling about being on homecoming court this year? I'm surprised that I got voted on, but I'm really thankful for everyone who voted for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little surprised too, but I'm also excited because that means enough people like me to wear uh, they voted me on homecoming court, so. Who do you two suspect to win homecoming king and queen this year? I think Ethan Stoger is going to win king and Natalie Schultz will get queen. Uh, I also think that Ethan's going to get king, but I think that Ella Goodrich is going to get queen. How do you feel about being on homecoming court for your senior year? Um, I'm happy and excited about it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, senior year, going to go out with a bang, going to be lit. Um. Yeah, just hoping to have fun. Who do you suspect to win homecoming king and queen this year? Um, I think Ella Goodrich and Ethan Stoger are going to win. I'd have to go with king as Ethan Stoger, and the queen would be Ella McKay. How exciting is it to run against your twin on homecoming court this year? I think it's pretty interesting and fun that we get to be like together for homecoming court. It's just interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to agree with Kaya. Um, I think it's, you know, very rare this happens. So I, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Two suspect will win homecoming king and queen this year. To be honest, I think Kate will get king and probably Ella Goodrich will get queen. You know, I think it'll be Caden Gensler and Ella Goodrich. How excited are you guys to be a part of homecoming court this year, knowing it's your senior year? I'm actually really excited because it's my senior year and I've never been on court before and I also don't have to cheer in the parade and I get to ride the truck, so that's exciting. You, Ethan? Uh, I'm very excited to be on homecoming court. Like she said, senior year, so it's going to be fun to just be on court. It's going to be a great time. Who do you two suspect to win homecoming king and queen this year? I think Ethan's going to win king and I think Kaya Buchanan's going to win queen. I think my boy... Kaden Gensler is going to win king, and uh, probably Ella Goodrich is going to win queen. Homecoming king queen, Kaden Gensler and yes. Ella McKay. Yes. Uh, Wanna be a millionaire?
Although not your typical homecoming, we had a blast. Thank you everyone for making it possible. Now let's move on to dance. Wait, that's my story. The Fieldcrest dance team may have a lot of underclassmen, but they're looking forward to a great dance season. Let's take a closer look. Hi. How has dance changed over the years with adaptations to COVID? Um, well, last year we didn't get the full season that we wanted, so this year has been harder adapting to wearing masks and like staying away from each other like when we're stretching and stuff so that we can take our masks off. And just in general, the whole season is a lot harder to change to because last year was so different because we couldn't do any, like, hardly anything last year. As a dance captain, what are you expecting from the team this competition season? Um, we have a really small team and a lot of new girls, so I'm, I'm expecting everyone to work hard so that we can get to state just like we have in the past. What has been your favorite memory on the dance team? Um, definitely the first, my freshman year when we went to state, that has been my favorite memory so far. Thank you. Yeah. Lily, how does it feel to be the only freshman on the team? Um, it was weird because I was like the only new person like coming on the team and so I had to grow closer to the upperclassmen which I think was definitely an advantage for me. How have you enjoyed the football dance season so far? It was fun. It was a little nerve-wracking at first but it was definitely a new experience and I'm going to do it again. What are you looking forward to in the upcoming competition season? I'm looking forward to just like going back to normal because watching McKenna dance over the years was a lot different than what it was last year so I'm hoping it's more normal than it usually is so I'm just hoping that we just get to dance and have fun. Thank you. Kayla, what are your thoughts on this season so far? Um, I think we've had a good start to our season. Football season was definitely interesting, and but it was good performing back on the field during a no normal season. What has been the hardest part of being on the dance team? My hardest part probably with being on the dance team is just that you really do have to love it to be involved in it, and it is time-consuming in some points, especially during competitive season, which we are coming upon very soon. Thank you. Mrs. Fortner, what has it been like to be the head coach of the dance team? Well, I've been doing it for almost 30 years, so it just seems like it's part of my life to be the dance coach here at Fields Crest. It's, um, it's rewarding to actually see the progress and the growth that a lot of the dance team members. I'm fortunate that when dancers try out, you know, as an underclassman or when they start high school, to usually coach them for several years and see the growth that they make in those years. A lot of the dancers that try out might not have any technical dance background, so they're learning from the very basics, and so it takes a lot of practice and a lot of time to improve on that skill, just like with any athletic, athletic endeavor or any athlete, they really have to work on those skills to become good at it. Of every sport and activity that you could have been in charge of, why did you choose dance? I chose dance because when I was in high school, I was a dancer. Um, dance, and when I came to Fieldcrest, there was an opening for a dance coach, and I thought this would be awesome to be able to continue that love. And That's all on the dance team for now. For the Nightly News, I'm Cammy. Now the competition is starting up. We can't wait to see how the ladies do. That's all for today. We have more stories in the making, so stay tuned for another edition of Your Nightly News. Your Nightly News.